three, four. I'm Dr. Ali Matu, Cognitive Behavioral Therapist, and I'm here today in collaboration with HBO to offer my take on themes of mental health in their shows. Today, we're going to unpack anxiety disorders and OCD from girls. A lot of people say they have OCD, but let's talk about what that actually means. People who have OCD get stuck on certain thoughts or certain images that lead to a compulsion. Something you feel like you have to do over and over again until it feels just right. I mean, this hasn't happened since high school. So it was really a classical presentation. Well, OK. Then I guess it's classic to have to masturbate eight or 16 times a night until your legs shake and you're crying and you're trying to make sure that your parents didn't hear you. So you check their door eight times. Then you move your toothbrush 64 times. Then you move your dad's toothbrush 64 times. Then you go back and forth between the two, moving each one eight times until you've reached 64 times. But then you realize that that doesn't feel quite right either. And suddenly it's three in the morning and you're fucking exhausted and you go to school the next day looking like a zombie. It's classical. That's what OCD is like. That uncertainty played out throughout the day. The impairment here, the isolation, the difficulty to just get out of her bed and to go about her day, very realistic example of what OCD can look like. I feel like I'm unraveling out of my really, really scared. Stay right where you are, I'm coming to you. One of the biggest complaints I get from my patients who have OCD is how much the term gets tossed around, almost to the point where it's lost its meaning. People will say, I'm OCD, I, I, I like to keep things organized as well, or I can be very picky with things. That's not OCD. Going back to check if you turn off your coffee machine, it's not OCD. If you're not diagnosed with OCD, try not to joke about it. It can be really hard to talk about OCD. And it's why I'm so happy shows like this exist. You're here. Well, I was always here. It gives us a place to start a conversation that hopefully move things forward. That's my take for the day. I'm Dr. Matu.